Google offers a lot of great products inside of their Google Suite. One of my favorites is Google Forms. With Google Forms, you can collect all sorts of information like contact info or even survey responses. It's simple to create and easy to share with others. And we're going to show you how it all works in this week's edition of IT. Google Forms was developed to make collecting data a lot simpler. However, many teachers are hesitant to use it because they really don't know how to get started. You're right. Creating a Google Form is actually extremely easy, but it is helpful to have a plan before you get started. The first way, the first thing you're actually going to do when creating your Google Form is to add questions. To get started with Google Forms, select New, scroll down to More, and then select Google Forms. After giving your Google Form a name, you will then begin to add questions. On the right hand side, you will see a drop down that will give you the list of the different question types that you'll be able to put on your Google Form. You can pick from questions like short answer and paragraph, or you can select from multiple choice, checkbox, or drop down. You also have the choice to have the user upload a file onto your Google Form. You can also select a linear scale or a multiple choice grid. So once you've selected the question type, the next step is to actually type in the responses that the user can select from. After that, you can either make the question required or not required. YouTube videos can also be added to your forms as a great supplement or another resource. After you have created sections and added questions to your form, you can now send this to the users. And Google Forms offers you a few different ways that you can do that. When you're ready to send the form to the user, just go ahead and click on the send button. Google gives you a couple different options as ways to you can, that you can uh, actually send your form to the user. The first way is by email. All you have to do is type in the user's email address. You can uh, send this to multiple users if you want to. Uh, and then you can add a subject as well as a message so this way the user knows uh, what they're actually receiving. You can actually also include the form inside of the email. Next, you will see a link button at the top. This is where you can actually get a link to the form, so you could copy and paste this link and email it. You could post it onto a social network or even put it on to your learning management system. And then next, uh, you will see the embed button at the top. This will give you an embed code where you can change the width and the height. And then you could embed this uh, form onto either your website or onto your learning management system. Now on to the important stuff. Just like you have options on the way that you send the form to the user, you also have options on the way that you can view the data that was collected from your forms. After you've created your Google Form, you can view your responses in a few different ways. The first one is by clicking on the Responses tab. As you'll see, it'll give you a number. This is how many responses you've received from your Google Form. So if you click on that Responses tab, you'll be able to see a summary of the responses that you've collected. And what's nice about this is they can show up in uh, different ways. They can show up as just a list, or like you see up top, they can show up as a chart in different ways. Um, if you click on individual, you can also see an individual list of all of the questions that you've asked. And this is how each individual person answered those questions. Another great way to view the responses is by clicking on the View Responses in Sheets button. If you click on that, uh, all of your responses are collected in a sheet, in a Google Sheet, and stored in Google Drive in the same folder that your Google Form uh, is stored in. So from here, you'll be able to view all of the responses from your form. You'll be able to filter these, you can sort, you can do all sorts of different things inside of your Google Sheets with the responses you, uh, you have received. As you can imagine, Google Forms can be used in a variety of different ways, making data collection a lot easier for you and the end user. Also, don't forget to turn in your Mannequin Challenge video contest to make sure that you can win your spot on a free trip to the NC Ties Conference. All you have to do for more information is click on the eye of the circle over here. That's a YouTube card to find for more information about how you can win. And you can go to this link below to submit your video. Mm -hmm. That's going to do it for this week's episode. Thanks for tuning in. Make sure you check us out next week for another edition of IT Weekly.